Now let's perform differentiation of hyperbolic functions. In this video, we are going to solve four questions. Now before we attempt these questions, let's look at the derivatives of some basic hyperbolic functions. The derivative of sine x with respect to x is equal to cosh x. The derivative of cosh x with respect to x is equal to sine x the derivative of tanh x with respect to x is equal to sesh square x the derivative of sesh x with respect to x is equal to negative sesh x tanj x the derivative of cos sesh x with respect to x is equal to negative cos sesh x cos x and then lastly we have the derivative of cos x with respect to x equals negative cos square x so these are the derivatives of some basic hyperbolic functions now using these equations let's try to solve questions a through to d so let's start off with a so for a we have the function f of x equals 2 sine 2 x Therefore, we say that f prime of x is equal to. So first of all, we write this two, and then we have a bracket. So now let's differentiate the argument. If you differentiate two x with respect to x, that is equal to two. When you differentiate sine, you have cosh, so that becomes two cosh two x. So first of all. You are going to repeat this two and then you differentiate the argument that is two when you differentiate two x with respect to x you have two and then when you differentiate shine you have cosh and that is what we have here so let's simplify this we have two times two which is four and so we have four cosh two x now let's move on to b so for b we have the function f of x equals we have tanj 4x square minus 3 therefore we have f prime of x equals we are going to differentiate 4x square minus 3 with respect to x so the derivative of 4x square with respect to x is equal to 2 multiplies 4 we have 8 and then we reduce the exponent on x by 1 so that is x exponent 1 which is the same as x and then we multiply that by now when you differentiate tanj you have sesh square so that means that we are going to have sesh square 4x square minus 3 therefore we have 8x sesh square 4x square minus 3 now to C so for C we have the function f of x equals 15 cosh 3x f prime of x is equal to we maintain 15 we differentiate 3x with respect to x and that gives 3 now when you differentiate cosh you are going to get negative cosh times cot so that's going to be times negative cosh 3x times 
cos 3x so that is equal to we multiply 15 by 3 that is 45 times negative 1 so we have negative 45 cosh 3x times cot 3x to d we have f of x equals cosh 1 over 2x therefore f prime of x is equal to derivative of 1 over 2x is 1 over 2 times derivative of cosh gives sine so we have sine 1 over 2x so that is equal to 1 over 2 sine 1 over 2x now let's move on to the derivatives of inverse hyperbolic functions so before we take these questions let's consider some basic inverse hyperbolic functions so we have the derivative of sine inverse of x with respect to x is equal to 1 over the square root of x square plus 1 the derivative of cosh inverse of x with respect to x is equal to 1 over the square root of x square minus 1 where x is greater than 1 the derivative of tan x with respect to x is equal to 1 over 1 minus x square where the absolute value of x is less than 1 again we have the derivative of search inverse of x to be equal to negative 1 over x times the square root of 1 minus x square where 0 is less than x is less than 1 we have the derivative of cosh inverse of x to be equal to negative 1 over the absolute value of x times the square root of 1 plus x square where x is not equal to 0 and then lastly we have the derivative of cot inverse of x with respect to x to be equal to 1 over 1 minus x square where the absolute value of x is greater than 1 also using these equations let's solve these three questions so firstly we have f of x equals sine inverse of 3x so we have f prime of x to be equal to first we are going to differentiate the argument and that becomes the numerator so derivative of 3x with respect to x is equal to 3 so we have 3 divided by using this equation we have the square root of x square now x is going to be 3x so we are going to substitute 3x in place of x in this equation so we have 3x all square and then plus 1 therefore we have f prime of x to be equal to 3 divided by we have the square root of 3 square is 9 and then we have x square plus 1 now let's move on to b 
we have f of x to be equal to cosh inverse of x square so we also differentiate x square so that we get 2x and we have that divided by notice that we are going to focus on this equation so we have the square root of x square minus 1 now we are going to substitute x square in place of x so that's going to be x square all square and then minus 1 therefore we have f prime of x to be equal to 2x divided by the square root of x square square is x exponent 4 minus 1 lastly we have f of x to be equal to cosh inverse of 5x square so f prime of x is equal to we differentiate this we have 10x divided by using this equation don't forget that we have a negative here so we put the negative we have absolute value of x now we are going to substitute 5x square in place of x so we have absolute value of 5x square times the square root of 1 plus 5x square all square so this is equal to we are going to have negative 10x divided by absolute value of 5x square is still 5x square times the square root of 1 plus 5 square is 25 x square square is x to the power 4 5 goes here twice 5 goes here once we have one x cancelling out one of the x's here therefore we have f prime of x to be equal to negative 2 divided by x times the square root of 1 plus 25x to the power 4.